Hey, what's up? Family. Hey, what's going on, fam? So we are in Lowe's. We're looking for a generator. Home and... Depot. Oh, what I'm in Lowe's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're looking for a generator and we're looking for a deep freezer. So come along with us. Yeah. Oh. It ain't even Halloween yet, but look at this. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Are you serious? Well, that's the same. Well, I, think, I think the one we got is a seven, isn't it? No, I think the one we got is a five cubic feet. Is that the one you want? Yeah, I love it. All right, family, Magic. so that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> so right after we saw the five cubic foot uh, chest freezer we saw this little beauty seven cubic feet I'm going to tilt it up you're just going to slide that underneath and we'll slide it on I'm just going to toss it in the air and catch it <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. I want to see that. That was my original plan. Oh, oh you're, you're not. More feet. You're not going to follow up on it. Slide it right back in. See how smart and sensible that was. So where is Mike going to be when we unload this thing? Uh, here. Right here. <laughs> Mike said, "I'm going to be right here." I want to see it. Oh, oh. He's got <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right. All right. All right, family. So we got our deep freezer. This one has so many more features, and I think we'll be in luck. So if you have a Home Depot near your home, you might want to go out and check them out. And this is where we got our, our uh, racks from. So if you could see that. Yeah, it went up a little bit since we got it. Yeah, the price have gone up since we got ours. So, I mean, but this, you know, it's a sign of things to come, you know? <laughs> um, that's what's gonna happen. They don't have as many as they used to have, but they still have some nice, strong metal, sturdy ones like this one. It is a, can you see those numbers? So that one is 69. And then the, the can you see those numbers there? That's 109. And it's pretty big. So I think this is the one that we have, right? And that's a three foot wide. Ours is four feet wide. Oh. See, okay. ours was that price, but we had the big one that's down here. So we so ours is four feet wide right here. Okay. Oh, so it only went up $10. That's not good. Yeah, bad. it only went up 10 bucks, but still. I mean, the 10 bucks is 10 bucks, right? <laughs> uh -huh. So this is the one that we have, guys. So they still have several. Like I say, since we bought ours, it went up $10 in price. But like I say, it's supply and demand. These were the plastic ones we got. They were like 44 bucks. But, and they went up $5. <laughs> Cause they, yeah, that's right. They were 39. <laughs> yeah. And they still have quite a few of them left, but I would only put toilet paper and stuff like that. I would not put my food on it. All right. There's my honey bunny. I just want to say if Peggy looks at another Christmas tree, I'm going to lose my mind. No, I'm not so going to buy. we going to walk right by the Christmas tree. We are. We're just going to walk no, right I'm not going to, I'm not going to buy a Christmas tree this year. Cause we have four. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to wait until we get our forever home before I buy a tree. All right, family, I'm feeling really good about this purchase. I didn't think we were going to have this much luck this quick, but we did. So I don't know. I'm, I'm just feeling really good right now. Like I can't explain it. <laughs> But I feel really confident about what we're doing today. Let's see if it'll fit in the truck. And it did. Wow, it fit perfectly. Like I said. Okay. 
So Trevor, may I ask you a question, sir? So since we've turned it on its side, we have to wait for like a day before? Yeah, about 24 hours. 24 hours? Yeah, okay. Right. Hey, oh. what's up, fam? Hey. Okay, so we're back in the car. We've loaded the freezer up. Uh, you probably noticed we laid it on the side. They told us if we laid it on the side, you might have to wait a little while before you uh, plug it up. So we're going to let it sit. We're going to stand it up in the um, pantry. Let it sit for about 24 hours. Yeah, then we're going to plug it up. 24 hours is what we had to do. So right now, Donald, since we're right here at Home Depot, Depot we have a Target right up the street. She loves a Target. I guess. And we're going to run in and get a toilet paper, a paper towel, just one of whatever we can get. Okay. So I'll see you inside Target. All right, Pete. All right, family. So we have made it to Target. Donald is sitting in the car. And... I need a nice robe. Look at those robes. I know we're supposed to be concerned about uh, winter coming and doing all our prep and stuff, but it doesn't hurt to look around. I'm not going to shop today. I'm just going to get what we came for and I'm going to leave. I'm going to make Donald proud of me today. <laughs> Hello family and welcome back to another episode of Peggy and the Don and the Don so as I told you guys we're gonna buckle down this week and next week trying to get that pantry up to par so I'm gonna start off with the biggest things so you know I am a Viva snob I love Viva paper towels they are the best they're more absorbent than most and they last longer. So I'm always going to buy Viva when it's available. So these were the, you get eight rolls, which they're triple rolls. So they're supposed to be 24 rolls. You know, it's only eight, but they give you the life of 24 rolls. Is that what I'm trying to say? Yeah. But anyway, um, I want to say these were $19.99 each. So I was able to get three of them. Yep, three for $19.99. And so then I went to Target, and Target had the mega roll of Charmin Ultra Strong Toilet Paper. So these, this is 30 mega rolls, and this was $29.99. I mean, you do the math. 30 rolls for $29.99, it's like a dollar a roll, but I'm going to tell you something about this toilet paper. It is super absorbent. You use way less sheets, and so therefore it's going to last longer. That's what I was going for, the super absorbency. So 
We we walked away with two of these. Yeah, one from Target and one from Walmart. Right. So we got the red one from uh, Target. So uh, Target and Walmart had the same thirty mega rolls for the twenty nine ninety nine. Mm -hmm. So either store you go to, the difference is Target is only going to let you buy one. Walmart doesn't have a limit on theirs for some reason today. Like, I was only able to get one Viva from Walmart. I mean, from Target, mm -hmm. but at Walmart, they let me buy two. So, I guess if you're going to get it, this would be the time to do it. Um, we loaded up on garbage bags. Gar garbage bags. We got enough of these to last us 90 days. Because we don't even really use a bag a day. So, we have more than enough for 90 days. Somebody was talking to me about ghee. And I guess this is like shelf life butter. Like you don't have to worry about refrigerating or freezing it. It doesn't look too good, but I'm going to try it and see. Like I, I'm telling you, like I'm so glad you guys tell me about some things because I, if I had seen this on the shelf, I would not have bought it. I'm sorry. Just doesn't look too appetizing. But this is a... 13 ounce and we'll get a close up on it and this was $6.99 so hey you never know all right and somebody was telling us that um, we needed to have more than one or two fire extinguishers so this will be fire extinguisher number three we got this at Walmart today uh, so this one was $14.99, I want to say, $14.50, something like that. Yeah. $14.97, okay, so $15 bucks was for that one. All right, so then I was thinking about if we lost power and it got really cold, because like I say, St. Louis can be blistering cold, like cold, cold. So... Um, I know I normally walk around the house when, in mittens when I'm cold because I'm the only one that's normally cold. But if it gets cold and we lose power or whatever else, I thought these uh, super warmer value. This is a super warmer value pack. So these are hand warmers, right? So you get they're either 74 cents each at Walmart or they're uh, 10 pack for 5.94. So I thought the 10 pack would just be better. So, I'm just saying, if it got cold enough in the house, I could use a hand warmer to keep myself warm or my grandchildren. So, I was able to get that. Also, at Walmart, we wanted to make sure that everybody that stayed with us had a flashlight. Now, we have the bigger, better brand of flashlight, but hey, in a pinch, any flashlight would work. So, Walmart has these little nifty... Um, flashlights and they're a dollar so I just got every color so I ended up with six of them I got the blue the gray the green orange pink and I got the yellow and it looks like they take a C size battery which is good because I bought all those C batteries yeah. and I was going to take them back so now I can just keep them <laughs> yeah, there you so go. that is perfect okay anyway so while we were at Target I went ahead and got hand soaps I normally get these from the dollar store but I did not feel like going to the dollar store today, so I spent the extra $2. But I was able to get nine. We left one in the back seat of the car. But these are always good. These are antibacterial hand soaps with aloe in them. Dial is the brand. They're really good. I always get these, so we'll have more to put on the shelf. We already have a lot down there. And then my dish soaps. I get this from Target as well. These are 74 cents each. I use these all the time. These are really good. They're no name brand. Well, Smartly is the brand. They cut grease. They're really, really good. I would liken these to Dawn. They work just the same. They are good for grease and everything else. Like I say, they're 74 cents for 10 fluid ounces. So I always stack up on these as much as I can. They have a, a citrus flavor, which is orange, but I always get the blue. I've never tried the orange, so... While we are preparing our emergency kit and our medicine, we got this first aid kit. And it, it was, what, $9 at Walmart? We got this back in the camping section. So it comes with like bandages and gauze and 
alcohol pads, you know, stuff like that. My logic behind getting a emergency kit, an emergency kit, and medicine cabinet set up. Donald and I are thinking about over the last five years, while we were hurt, what did we need? Over the last five years, because I don't want to just go buy stuff that I don't think we're going to need. Of course you're going to need allergy medicines, uh, headache medicine, something for pain, sore throat, you know, that kind of thing, flu symptoms, all that kind of stuff. So of course you're going to get that. So we got some day quill and night quill. I got this at Target. I want to say this duo was $14 if I'm not mistaken. It was between, well I want to say it was between $15 and $19.99. I know that's a lot because we paid for the name brand. You can get the off brand for each of these separately for $5.99 at Target. But I know I take this stuff and I know this works. I haven't used that other stuff. So I didn't want to buy something I didn't use and I didn't feel like it would fit my need. Okay? Uh, Donald and I are old people. <laughs> <laughs> and so we do have, we suffer from back pain sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes we do. Sometimes, you know, you bend down the wrong way and your back hurts for a couple days. Or you sleep wrong. Or you sleep that's wrong. Like, that's, something, that's something that happens once you get older, young people out there. You might actually sleep wrong, sleep wrong and wake up and need one of these little patches. They but, work really good. It's cold when you first put them on, but they work really good. Okay, it comes with five patches. And when I tell you these things work, they're only $4.99. If you suffer from, like, back pain, you know, all, you know, sometimes, now I, don't, I don't think you should use this all the time, mm. but if you use, if, if you have back pain, I promise you, try this, you will love it. Uh, I remember one time my back went out and they gave me lidocaine. Now that worked really, really well, mm -hmm. but you just can't get full lidocaine patches from over the counter. So I'm telling you, these are the next best thing. If you have back trouble, please give these a try. These are Tiger Balm pain relieving patches. It's for temporary relief of pains. I'm telling you, pull off the little sticky part, put it on your lower back, forget about it, forget that it's there, and it works wonders. My sister told me about this because we were on a cruise and my back went out. <laughs> and she had these and it saved my trip. So I want to tell you about those. They had Advil liquid gels. These work for pretty much anything, any pain related illness, you know, anything pain related. These liquid gels, I think, work best. Like I say, over the last five years, Donald and I have used these, these Advil liquid gels. Y'all saw we also got the uh, freezer down there. So we ended up going with the seven cubic foot freezer. Um, it costs $40 more than the five cubic foot freezer. Mm -hmm. So the way I figured it was we were getting 40% more freezer for 15% more money. Mm -hmm. And so we went ahead and made that investment. Now we have a much larger, yeah. and I feel like combined with our previous five cubic foot freezer, we we need the uh, the, the space, and we like having a whole lot of frozen food. And this is what uh, is fitting our personal prepping needs. So we were able to get our deep freezer today, seven cubic foot, and then it, it had a lot of options. Yeah, a lot too. of options. Yeah, the slide, it had a light on the inside, which our other freezer did not it have. It does not. The LED light when you open it up, so mm -hmm. when it, so that could be good, mm -hmm. especially in a dark situation. Uh, they had little dividers in there and stuff like that, so this is a better freezer, and I'm glad we was able to find one. Yeah, so I'm telling you, just buying necessities, this is very expensive. 30, 30, I mean, just add it up. Today, we probably spent over $500. <laughs> I told Peggy, hey, we need to go out and get at least 60, 70 more rolls of toilet paper if we want to make sure we have enough for a 60-day, 90-day uh, shutdown lock-in. So this was today's haul. Next week, we'll probably have a couple more. The week after that, probably a couple more because I want to be prepared. This is hard for Donald because he doesn't like to spend the money. But I'm telling him, like, think about it like this. When we shut down in November, we don't have to buy grocery again until January. Exactly. Now, I mean, if the world doesn't shut down, then we might need to get some milk or, you know what I'm saying? But we're going to have that here just in case. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to get more powdered milks and we're going to get other stuff. So just stick around and see where this takes us because I'm interested to know how this all ends and how, how it's all said and done. 
but I just have a feeling we might end up adding a couple more shelves downstairs. I mean, <laughs> I can see that happening. Honestly, you know what? It is. It, it has to happen. Yeah, it has I to happen because I don't want to put anything on the floor. Floor. Now we do have storage in our basement where there are shelves that were built down there yeah, little but they're not shelf. really sturdy enough for us mm -hmm. so it just only makes sense for us to go out and buy more the reason why i say that because when we move we could take it with us yeah. when you break it down it breaks down into small little compartments oh, yeah. and we could just take it with us so we're gonna when we move next time we're just going to have a plain storage area for nothing else but just storage because this is now a way of life for us yeah. and we're going to always be preppers from this day forward yeah. it is what it is so thank you guys for hanging out with us today thank you for all the advice you see that we followed a lot of advice getting more of the first aid the fire extinguishers and stuff like that yes we're gonna, i can't wait to see how this ghee butter works out we gotta probably try it out a little bit yeah. but uh thank you guys for watching uh make sure you got there and do something good for yourself and for others as well. And for others as well. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate that. Y'all have a good day, fam. Thank you. Take me arms. Do just what you want. You're the one to trust. I belong, I belong to you.